Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story again is coming from London. A lot of news has been breaking and a lot of our subscribers have been messaging us on Instagram in relation to this story. So special thanks to our friends at UB1 and UB2. It's a great page on Instagram and provides a lot of good news and respectfully. They are based in Southall and cover that area and respect to all our Sikh subscribers as well. And at Scar City, we support the Kisan Rally and Justice for Indian Farmers. This story, as I said, was broke by UB1, UB2, but the official report of the police followed shortly after saying that a dead body has been found inside a suitcase in a London hostel. Police have said that a decorator discovered the body after neighbours complained about a foul smell that had lasted for weeks. Forensic crews were at the scene and entered that was above a parade of shops in Southall on Friday night following the grim discovery at 3pm. Locals said a decorator visited the hostel on Friday afternoon and discovered the body of a female in a suitcase above the hair salon. The rooms that are above the shops are called pay and sleep hostels and it was confirmed tonight that police had gone to get the CCTV footage from the area. Met Police said they're investigating an unexplained death following the discovery at 3pm on Friday. They did not confirm the gender of the body or any identifying details. So it's very interesting. They've just said unexplained death. It's very unexplained of, as how you'd get yourself into a suitcase if the death was not connected to somebody else. Patrol cars and forensics were at the scene. The owner of the hair salon in the local area confirmed she'd been asked about CCTV by the police today. And the hostel that this woman is meant to have lived in is still online and there is still rooms available. Businesses underneath confirm the hostel is still operating on the street with visitors coming and going regular. A spokesman for the police said the officers are investigating the unexplained death after they were called at 10 to 3 on Friday in Southall. Inquiries are ongoing and the death is treated as unexplained. They are not discussing any of the circumstances and the death had still not been passed on to the murder detectives at that time. So this is precious time, being as this body potentially hasn't been found in weeks for them not to have looked into the murder aspects of it initially. And in a breaking news update in relation to this story as well, the police are now saying that the boyfriend of this girl has gone missing as well. He's meant to have lived in this property also with this woman. So of course, it's a very early stage of the, st of the investigation and we'll have to be very careful to not speculate in any way, shape or form as to not affect any trials. But neighbours have been speaking to the papers and the police and speaking about a woman who lived in their property and saying that she was a nice woman and nobody had anything bad to say about her. But they do mention that she had a boyfriend and he has not been seen since the discovery of her body. So this is a really sad story and as I said, it's still breaking. There's been a lot of similar stories with shared accommodation and also hostels in the past few years. We covered a story in Birmingham of Phoenix Nets, who was found in a suitcase. She was killed in a shared house in Lazales. This could potentially be several different outcomes to this story. So I'll send my condolences to the family of this unidentified woman, but I'll definitely keep you updated with anything that breaks in the future. So again, special thanks to UB1, UB2. Please don't forget to follow us on social media at Scar City Studios, and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.